Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Gamer of the Max and part six of our Hearts of Iron 4, the Old World Blues Enclave Redux mod. So, in the last episode, we had turned our t attention towards the 80s and defeated them outright against, um, that wasn't like really overwhelming numbers. We were pretty even until the uh, Kaisar's Legion sent a bunch of their chariots and absolutely wrecked my power armor divisions. But we overwhelmed them after a while. Now, uh, the NCR and Kaisar War is going on, but the NCR are taking pretty heavy losses right here, first off. Now, I do have an option once the NCR gets to 10% um, surrender progress, I can actually just end the war with a white piece between the two of them. I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait till the NCR takes quite a bit of damage. And they're just about to surrender that I'm going to white piece them out. Because that makes it easier to defeat for us. Um, we are training our armies. And we're getting ready. We have war goals being made against the White Legs, New Cannon, and the Thunderbirds. Uh, the reason for the, the for New Cannon is because the Far Sons I need up against me to finish out. There's the Great Race. If you guys would like to read that. Uh, to finish out my definition of human. Down here, we need the Farson project is a neighbor of Farson. So we need to at least have a new cannon right here. <laughs> Death Claws ate some of our team. Which is funny because we eat Death Claws. I actually, like, I know quite a bit about uh, Fallout, or I like to think I know quite a bit about Fallout. I didn't realize that Death Claw was like a delicacy food for um, a lot of <laughs> the Fallout like universe. Because they're always talking about eating Death Claws in this mod. And it's like, uh, <laughs> I don't even know. I can't remember what Death Claws evolved from. And it's like, Ugh. I know I fought them quite a bit in the games, but you're like, Ugh. I never looked at Death Claw and was like, mm, delicious. Because <laughs> I was like, Ugh. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just talking right now, but yeah, I couldn't couldn't imagine. Beat out Thunderbirds. Thought about turning New Cannon into a puppet, but I don't think I will. Come up here and take out Farson. Troll Warren, the Troll Warren went to war with the, the Apostles, Infinity Knights, God King Samson. Huh. Vault 100. The Past Keepers. I know Big Grass has won quite a bit. Uh, Mercury Operation Centers, while not exactly Los Alamos or Area 51, Mercury, Nevada sits just north of Mercury Pass, a major caravan route via the north route to New Vegas. The closed city was built by Atomic Energy Commission well over 300 years ago and was the main competitor for Big MT, the massive defense research think tank in the region. Regardless, the city was locked down via robotic guards pre-war, which kept many at bay from the site, but that isn't a problem when you have government access codes. With the town under our control, our scientists and engineers are welcoming the change from the stuffy Fort Sierra where they've made their home these past few years and have felt themselves a renewed sense of discovery and drive. Sometimes all it takes is a change of scenery, get uh, additional research speed by 1%, and army organization factor by 2. Good. Then we will do area 5, area 25, and area 6. El Hacito Mexicano declared war on the Chichen Itza Empire. Thunder Wars declared war on the Badland Buckaroos. Really? Okay. Well, I'm sitting between the two of you, so too bad. Yeah. Shady Sands is still around. But the NCR is going to lose quite a bit. I hope there's a lot right there. Not going to do it yet. Like I said, I'm going to wait till. Because they're only at, what, right 12? They've lost 37,000, which is good for us. But I want them to bleed each other, like, dry. Enclave here. One of my 
Satellite Robots. The Fall of the National Guard in Oklahoma. Yep, the Lost Patrol is pretty much crushed. Lawrence took the apostles. Now, we do have 16 more days of the negative 75% construction speed. You have a thousand political power right now. Big grass to go to one safe haven. We got radios. Let's do research that. That's her special forces. Research that. And then you. Robots. Did the bypass sentry bots. Five more days. We got a hundred more days and less than a hundred days there. Lost Patrol was annexed. So now the Native American tribes should all join into one big nation. Should. Don't know if they will. I'm really hoping the Tar Walkers get defeated by the White Legs. Though the White Legs do hate Khazar's Legion. Wise. Area 5, I want to set the world on fire. While the M42 was developed and tested at Fort Strong from the East Coast, the main production center of the weapon was contained at Area 5 of the Nevada test site. After securing the site, data, er, data archaeologists managed to recover the schematics and plans for the M42 and its corresponding ammo. We now have access to this pre-war treasure of a weapon and can put it into production immediately under the aircraft tab. Once sufficient numbers are built, we can arm them and decisions for use by commanders in battle plans or through spy missions. Uh, the wasteland will soon learn what it feels or like or what it's like to face a real superpower. We get the mini new technology. Then we'll do area twenty five production. To start building some of these mini nukes up. Mini nukes, mini nukes. I need so many military factories, it's not even funny. Start getting these guys built. Bad thing is all of our territories. Need to have those. All right, power surge detected. A sapper team has already been deployed throughout the facility to maintain and restore any available power protectors or any available surge protectors we managed to contain uh, it to a small subsection of the plant. Our engineers predict minimal power loss, but it may take some time to replace every blown surge protector and it gives quite a fright to our crew. Excellent job from our engineers. Let us put this relic back online at last. Gives us some more power. Cleft Sanctuary. 
Now poured. Congratulations. Finished out our refined warfare there. Fire teams, heart attack, air attack, piercing, defense, breakthrough, soft attack. Let's do this one for the uh, piercing because Kaiser's Legion has a lot of vehicles. So that finishes up for the Thunderdome, right? Cancel. Stop training, please. I just about made the worst mistake. Give them a few days to regain. Let's just, uh, that won't do anything but drop it to like 850. It's just not worth the money. Uh, let's do it one more time. Waste my political power. Now we're down to 300. And all we'll do for the next time is main you under him we'll give you old Cody Kelly here Enclave here take your six there we go Enclave here Cody Kelly Low manpower, yeah. Resistance to occupation. That's fine. Knock out the Thunderbirds. This is on Cleve Main Com. About to take Etna. Tire irons, huh? Then a bunch of just random stuff. Pipe guns, melee, savage cars. Nothing crazy. Alright. Mains. From an exit. Burn. New Canaan's gonna be the biggest threat and the biggest importance. About done with area 25. How's that war going for the NCR right now? Uh, they're at 22 percent. Lost 47,000. The Shi have lost 15,000. Scavengers turn. Turn triumphant. They lost seventeen thousand. That's it. Ooh. Get our max speed for our power armor divisions up. Yeah, there'll be some resistance to occupation for a while. Valley. Pre war, the military is conducting research into what exactly post nuclear environment would essentially be. Centered around Area 25, the facility created ran a series of underground tests that replicated real world environments and then doused them in radiation to discover the results. While a seemingly destructive and fruitless test, the Great War proved the naysayers wrong. The data recovered from the site has allowed us to put their recommendations into practice, allowing our troops to better operate in various scarred environments we find ourselves in. Wait, how do they predict Murlux? Uh, reduces terrain penalty speed by 10%. Do area 6, and that's done with the 
Nevada test site, so. Metalworking, resource efficiency gain. I can arm a batch of mini nukes. Restore dug away proving grounds. Yeah, we'll do that. We don't have enough bottle caps for that. Fall of sh uh, Shady Sands. How close is the Encler Brotherhood for Fallen? 31%. We'll wait for it to get up to at least 50. Then we'll force the white piece. Take Daglo there. I'm really hoping they encircle this and destroy this pocket. Then I'll then I'll allow them to have their white piece. Area six is done. Come up here to accepting ghouls. Kind of want to see this pocket destroyed. Tune training. Service, super service armor. Just because we got some horses, some random horses. Yeah, what are you looking like now? 40%. That's 50,000. We lost 20,000. This is Enclave Maincom. I think I'm good with, uh, War to end soon. Oh, they restarted their offensives. I really want them to knock out this. Justification. Accepting ghouls, ghoul, <laughs> ghoul marriage. I already know where this is going. All right, since we decided to recognize ghouls as U.S. citizens, an odd situation has come up. A wastelander from New Reno has demanded we recognize his marriage to a ghoul. Although we don't interfere with what consenting adults do in their bedroom and really don't want to know what these two do in theirs, they have brought a challenge to the new Supreme Court to hear their con constitutional challenge. Although one justice asked whether this was a priority in the grim post-nuclear wasteland, another member of the court has argued that civil rights are always important. The court has three opinions or options before it. First, to say that we find ghoul marriage ghosts and we can deny rights to Americans based on our dislike so long as we aren't imprisoning or executing people. The second is to note that the 14th Amendment guarantees all U.S. citizens the equal protection of the law and rules that banning ghoul marriage violates the Equal Protection Clause. Or we can issue a rambling decision that doesn't give anyone a clear standing to follow in the future cases, but let's just say love is love and gets quoted at weddings. So we gain stability, war support, and political power if we say no. We gain research speed plus 3% for a year uh, if we decide the other two. So we'll just adopt an equal protection argument saying, you know what? You guys can do what you want. We're going to accept super mutants because why not? They are our creation for one for one thing. Uh, the Enclave did tests with the FEV creating the super mutant program. And they were trying to make super soldiers. And instead they made giant on, well, they are, they think some of them are actual have the ability to think like regular humans, but they they were like it was a horribly failed project in my opinion. I mean, the Enclave might not have thought they were horribly failed, but it was a horribly failed parent, uh, horribly failed project 
that killed a lot of people. A lot of people. Okay, so the white legs, we're going to wait for them to knock out the tar heels. And just keep waiting. I want this pocket to be destroyed, that's what I'm waiting for. Get rocket launchers research. They'll be better than our single use ones. A Supreme Court Justice, President Granite, astonishing news, a ghoul has appeared in New Reno who claims to be a surviving member of the Supreme Court. He says he was on a ski trip in Colorado when the Great War broke out and spent the last 200 years traveling the waste and administering justice. We were skeptical, especially when we asked for his name, which was Saul Gulman. We doubt anyone was named that pre-war, but he claims it's a post-war name that his real name is Robert McGill. We'll look through what records we have, but the calendar takes out and restoring him to the Supreme Court could be a big step toward survive, uh, reviving America's legal system. We can say, I hope he hires good law clerks, which gives us stability and political power, or I really doubt an octogenarian judge survived the nuclear war. Ah, I hope he hires good uh, law clerks. Pull our spies out of North Carolina, or North Carolina, the NCR again. Send them back in. Let's see. Once these pockets are defeated, I'll, I'll make them peace out. That gives it two years, by the way. It's a two-year pause they won't be able to attack till 2020-82 so the boneyard's still there the Baja Peninsula has been destroyed alright well congratulations NCR you live to fight another day NCR and Kaiser's Legion have signed a white peace. The Legion lines sabotage and what was shaping to be the greatest or the largest war in Southwest. The Legion experienced an unmitigated disaster when a series of surgical strikes to their supply lines over the Colorado were destroyed by an unknown assailant. NCR intelligence claims to have no knowledge of who conducted these attacks. Though evidence points to the Brotherhood of Steel, whose sources claim to not wish to see Kaiser overrun New California. Uh, within hours of the events, NCR forces conduct a counterattack, forcing Kaiser into a temporary white peace with the NCR. Tensions remain high, and many suspect this will not be the end of the hostilities in the region, and that it will only be a matter of time before war reignites. Substantial reports that vertebrates with enclave markings cannot be confirmed, and are consisted and are considered conspiracy theories by mainstream analysts. No one will ever know. Now, I'm not going to use any more political power because we'll never be able to gain that much back. So we do have the ability to organize patriots, which allows to spawn militia members when we do go to war with the NCR. So I'm gonna put them in the Baja Peninsula in the efforts and hopes that when we do go to war, I get to take all of the Baja Peninsula. Kazar's Legion has to run away. We've accepted super mutants. Let's do the non-human rights for the burrows. And congratulations, New Canaan. You have found uh, an enemy in me so declare war potential allies eagle rock I, I don't care about eagle rock push push and push we'll knock out eagle rock and maybe make them into a puppet sounds good to me I didn't even realize that there was... Out there, I didn't realize there was even a gap there. Well, they just let that motorized division get destroyed. to Itza, so Erjacito Mexicano only need two more territories I think to do their entire restore Mexico. Uh, ghouls in the army with the allowance of ghouls as full productive citizens of America. These have been raised a question among our military command of allowing them to serve in the army. 
On one hand, they have hundreds of years of survival experience and few of them are former soldiers themselves. On the other hand, there's a lingering risk of one or more of them turning feral, and a feral ghoul in power armor is a dangerous creature. This camp is advocating for segregated battalions of ghoul infantry, even run by ghoul officers. There would be a more puritanical voices among us, but we did not kill, or, but we did kill most of them. The debate is reaching a fever pitch, but the president voice carries weight. So we can prepare for orderly integration, which gives us army experience gain plus three percent, and we gain two percent legitimacy plus more stability. Or keep them in form uh, separate formations. We just get ghoul civilization and ghoul paratroopers allows us to build ghoul units. Um, I I feel like. Me personally, I wouldn't mind doing the integration. The legitimacy, the stability, that's all nice. Um, getting the ghoul civilization and paratroopers would be kind of cool too. Because it's in our research tree. Don't go over here. These guys are super good in radioactive wasteland. They don't have great te uh, defense. And then their paratroopers are good everywhere else. Hmm. I like that, but I think I'm going to do keep them in separate formations. Not how I believe it should work. I think I would have done the other way, but like I said, there's a part of it that's like, well, I kind of want to get ghoul units. Here. And we can look down here. Look to ghoul divisions. Division designer. Empty. Special platoons. Airborne. Ghoul airborne paratroopers. We'll give them dogs, anti-tank, demo. See, these guys can be our airborne regiment. We'll call them airborne. Ten bullet, ten of those guys. New Canaan is being eviscerated with my power armor. New Canaanite operative captured. I have Maze of Waking making you talk. Gateway declared war on the blighted woods. They've popped last stand. Non-human rights. Oh, pause. There we go. Uh, we are getting reports out of interior Nevada of a strange colony of small fury mutants. We dispatched a vertebrate for a flyover and from what pilots reported was what looked like pre-war raccoons with a mismatch of tribal and ballistic weaponry. They didn't shoot out at our vertebrate. They weren't too happy about it. Oh, can I get a hat just like Ben Franklin or welcome to the United States? We get the borrowing slanter or the burrowing slanter, which gains resistance, gain efficiency plus 10%, and we just straight out annex them. Yeah. Welcome, raccoon people. And now the burrows is one of our territories. How many building slots are you allowed? Seven. So we'll have to do something about that. Now we have to wait for the Farson. Let's do the common man over in the NCR. We can sponsor a railway in the boroughs, which I'll do. Gives me one more build slot there. New Jerusalem's probably about to fall. There's nothing probable about it, it will fall. Surrounded that group there. True cons to care for. Just 
slowly defeating those guys. Bat servos. Search that. Search that. Outdated production. New cannons under threat. There's the fall of New Canaan. Take their navy. Who can I puff it? You got the what? The war. The Fairfield Warband. The Brigham Barons. Or. Nah. Let's make demands. This is Enclave Main Com. The crazy horns. The forgotten men and women. Although the NCR is a democracy, it's highly flawed. Brahmin barons run the northern territories like feudal holdings, crushing small farmers and factory workers. The caravan buys and sells senators for bottle caps, and ethnic tensions simmer beneath the surface. A leader who promised to restore pre war American ideals and rather forgotten people of the NCR or New California could be very successful with our aid. We get collaboration in the New Californian government. We can do the Farson project. Traders and followers speak of a frenzy but crazy subspecies of human. At the very least, they keep to themselves or are unwilling to trade. We'll go over there and talk to them. And send you guys forward. My, my power armor is just going to rip right through them. And then we might puff it you all. Actually, I don't think I will because this is a uh, old pre-war military base over here. And we've got a bunch of installation management command. So we have Respore, re, uh, Restore the Spanish Fork Armory, Fort Douglas, Restore Hill Air Force Base, the Clearwater Naval Depot, and Fort Williams. Those are 60-day 60 60 day decisions. Um, we got three more days on hide our activities. Farson declares war on Order Bros. They have. Why? Well, we have a navy, but it's landlocked. Yeah, because there's nothing you can do with it. It's literally in a lake. It's in Salt Lake City. <laughs> or it's in Salt Lake. I don't think there's any way for you to get it out, so we'll delete it. There goes the tar walkers, finally. And we're... I thought we'd been justifying on them this whole time. No. National Information Infrastructure... Uh, Poseidon Net, Enclave Net, and Robocall Mail, the hardened information network that would survive the, the great 
war still operates in the waste access, access by scavengers and fools. One of our scientists has studied the network in the Gecko or in Gecko and proposed a radical plan to link all the computers together, create a national information infrastructure, uh, and we can listen to all of it with our enemies unaware. Listening to your words keep you safe, which gives us daily political power gain plus plus point one zero. Uh, plus 20% description decryption and gain 10% base stability or just get one research slot. Uh, we'll do that. We need the stability anyway because we keep going to war every time I turn around. I was just going to leave Eagle Rock alone, but they do have an old Air Force base. I'm trying to find somebody I can puppet. <laughs> So I at least have some puppet somewhere. It's gonna be useful. All right, pause. Farson project. The mole miners of Farson. Mole miner society is simple, communal, and tribalistic. They are also openly hostile to anyone who is not them. Maybe it is this bond they share with the old enclave that drove them to not attack the soldiers on sight. Maybe it's the fact two hundred years of killing everyone and getting nothing in return taught them a lesson or two. Using local translator who somehow speak their language, the American envoy was able to at least get them to conduct trade with their resources for food with us. Turns out a lot of them want more than just cave fungus. Interesting to note, the next day when our envoy and team arrived, there was a massive pile of bodies outside their primary mine, and the mole miner were far more eager to conduct business with us. We were just going to pretend we didn't know what that was about. The Farson Mining Corps, which grants us local production or local resources plus 15%. Oh, and we took them all. Sweet. And then we united we stand. Uh, for a mutant free... Oh, wait, sorry. Force have it. For a purist free land, America's once described as a melting pot of cultures and people. Now, once more, we are a melting pot of people, cultures, and species all living together, usually in harmony. And we get the great American melting pot. Yeah, usually. Which I guess I can go to war with uh, Diana and uh, Ourobrewer. Because they both absolutely hate Khazar's Legion. Economic Resurgence. A new Canaan. The only bad thing with what I've done is... Uh, <laughs> we have to... Like, we have a huge territory now that they can attack. So, that's 40 days on that. With this, yeah, we'll never afford it again. But we do have one more way we can keep it from going to war right off the bat. Scavenge with vehicles. Knock out Eagle Rock. Do you dislike Khazar's Legion as well? Right, Texas is at war with Santa Ana. Sorry, Texas. The spies compromise. We'll extract them out. And then send them right back in. Uh, some of Diana's troops have made it across. Or Ourobro's troops, sorry, not Diana's. Steam power e excavation, extraction. Uh, wasteland bus or salvage cars. Do the get the tank start to be researched. This is Enclave Maincom. This is Enclave Maincom. I thought, like the big fool I was, that we had a war goal against the White Legs, and we don't. So we're building that right now. So they've got lessons from Kazar. Uh, so united we stand it's often flawed or it's flawed often chafes under its own weight has a history of problems and probably will for some time but for the first time in earth's history five separate species are living under one nation with equal protection and most of the time working together for a common goal a human barters with a ghoul while slanter children play together with the wasteland children in the streets Mole well, miners pull out ore to supply a construction project manned by super mutants at the helm of it all president sits before the stars and stripes hoping to have directed the united states to live up to its old credo having removed the genocidal old ways of the purest and looked towards the 2030s with a new sense of purpose all created equal which gives us ever uh, united evermore which grants trade tariffs plus two percent or 
Wait, what gets what in the Y? No. <laughs> We're all created equal. Slanter service. We just received a proposal from our liaison from the boroughs. The boroughs appear to have been gripped by patriotic fever, and the place has openly displayed their newfound love of the country. Many of the younger generation, however, have been gripped a bit stronger and have sent forward a petition to be allowed to serve in the U.S. Armed Services. The proposal of this course was expected to be stopped at lower levels, but several officers are noting that they can make excellent scouts, able to scurry far ahead of our advance and remains undetected by enemy forces, who wouldn't think twice of us small furry, uh, furry mammals. Watching them from a distance, of course, opening the doors to non-human mutants as a can of worms. Many more traditional thinkers, both in and out of uniform, find to be in poor taste. I guess their size has an advantage, or building, I'm building an army, not a zoo. No, the Slanter Scout Tech sounds awesome. So, we're not we stand. We finished that. Now, it's time to come up here and start doing the Arsenal of Democracy. Finish out this war over here in Eagle Rock. Uh, please tell me we got flamethrowers, scrap trucks. I know you guys had. But uh, you had a bunch of pipe guns. And take states. I kind of do want to puppet them. Answer is kind of yeah. I really don't want to fight Karzar's Legion without at least one puppet. I'd right, be all right. I'm gonna beat these guys then. Because they do have. Well, you know what? Puppet them. Yeah. Take Eagle Rock, please. No, nope, we won't be able to afford it. Ah, I shouldn't have puppeted him. That'd be alright. Be alright. Pass. Take their Navy. Confirm an exit. Confirm. Enclave here. Enclave main com. I have a feeling that they're going to declare war on me. This is Enclave main com. Enclave here. Enclave here. Twenty days on those different armories. We got rocket launchers there. Better anti-air is always good. Let's see Eagle Rock, led by the intellectuals. If only you guys had your main capital building. Masters of Aviation. If 
finally making some of those nukes. Disposable. Switch those over for rocket launchers. Start building that Slender Scout equipment. That's an importance. Build more of those. Construction-wise. Maybe in the end I shouldn't have puppeted them, but I can always just take them back at some point. Let's just save my political power because they're planning on going to war. Well, undying hatred. Yeah, if they hate Kaisar's Legion, they're all right in my book. Troll Warren goes to war with Klamath. Klamath. Man, if we knock out the Troll Warren and puppet them, we'd be set. Army is pretty good. Can we go up in conscription power? We can. Let's see, rally around the flag. It gives us 35% recruitable population and 25% non. Yeah, we're going to do that. Then we'll jump over to. Hopefully, partially partial mob. One day, there we go. Hill of God, uh, a vital component of Air Force Material Command with the weapons produced at Dugway and Tool Hill Air Force Base was tasked with moving them out to either be deployed or moved to more secure storage out east. Despite this, the base was overlooked by Chinese nukes, possibly as they were too focused on Salt Lake City or Dugway. Regardless, the base served as the main base for the small new cannon Air Corps, protecting the Mormon skies, or at least trying to anyway. Much like Fort Douglas, the base is in remarkably good condition thanks to the efforts of New Canaan, and the Air Forces are is ready to begin supplying operations for missions in the north and east. Fly Eagle Fly, improved air mission efficiency and air generation. Clearfield Naval Depot, designed as an inner supply depot for the Navy, Clearfield right now is in a strange strategic position to assist the Navy in fighting along the rivers and ensure open trade across the wasteland. While overland caravan routes have proven valuable, the tr river trade reaches farther and brings better profit to those who are brave enough to venture it. Thus, the Navy and the Coast Guard have taken it upon themselves to patrol the waterways and ensure the free movement of trade, and with it increasing our taxable income for those river-born merchants who benefit from our protection, uh, improves naval repair and coordination. God's Fort at the Western Approach. Fort Douglas was our installation near Salt Lake City that was primarily tasked with pacifying the city as well as protecting the nearby proving grounds. Post-war, it serves as a primary, uh, primary military base for New Canaan once their city was founded and the base cleared of threats. It continued to serve as the center of New Canaan military activity, protecting both the western approach of the city as well as the last line of defense before the city itself. It even proved a tough nut, nut for our own forces to crack, but we've taken it, and the work of New Canaan did it has kept the base in remarkably good shape for 200 years, making it a welcome return to our fold. Colville changes the name to Fort Douglas, improved army organization, and boosts special forces capacity. The Spanish Fork Raid. Spanish Fork Army was a National Guard army that, alongside Tool Army Depot, served as a fortification protecting the south of New Canaan, this time from the southeast. However, Spanish Fork was raided by the White Lakes, who stole a plethora of weapons stored there. The event was turning point in Utah, allowing the White Lakes to raise to power and the beginning of the gradual decline of New Canaan until we arrived, of course, and found the base dialect. Our dialect. With, now, with the base under our control, we can restore it to working order and allow us to conduct counterinsurgency operations in the region, region beyond even from the tactic, uh, tactics developed. Send them in any time, any place. Increased division attack factor. Ooh, it's a lot to read. Defending Salt Lake City, the last line of defense from the Mormons for Salt Lake City, and then at New Canaan, Fort Williams was expanded upon and used to great effect against the Mormon enemies, and it was there in the early 2020s, or, I'm sorry, 2200s, the 2200s, that the 80s saw their first defeat at the Great Utah Road War. It was also here where the first White Leg Raids met there and before Salt Open Wounds reorganized them. Uh, now, before in our, our, now back in our hands, we do have to hand it to the new Canaanites. They do, do know how to fortify a position further. The base is still in decent shape, despite the bombs that dropped on Salt Lake City. Uh, it's now ours again. Provo changes its name to Fort Williams, gives us a boost in Army organization and Special Forces cap. Perfect. We're going to arm three batches of mini nukes. 
That'll go off here soon. All right. Enclave here. The Arsenal of Democracy. Pre-war America was known as the Arsenal of Democracy and its industrial capacity was unraveled. Even the Chinese communists couldn't hope to meet the output of the United States during the war. And it was only the Great War that brought the end. Even today, the surviving husks of the pre-war era still look to with envy by every supposed produced war industrialist. If we were to reestablish such power, the wasteland would have nothing to stand against us as we produce weapons and armor by the thousands while they produce only in the tens. Old world corporations like Roboco, West Tech, meaning alongside new startups like the Van Graffs and Tim Tanks. But of course, there's the fact it was these very corporations that drove riots at home and sent the world into a death spiral alongside the communists. Long ago, the United States military made everything in-house, and they can do so again, though we would be sacrificing output when compared to what we should be doing, or could be doing. The debate among the military commanders is reaching a fever pitch, and the president's words have more than enough sway. Let us not light the world on fire again. We focus strength of the new world or power of the old world. Let us light the old world fires. I'm going to go strength of the new world. Also going to go up here to the north and going to do uh, Armed Forces News Network. It is uh, whenever we take a city, which we should be, we should have actually got that earlier. Whenever we take a city, it gives us a notification and it also gives us a really cool like little audio clip and gives us more stability, I think. Or it actually is different every time depending on the city you take. Joshua Graham enlists. Although New Canaan has fallen, some of their leaders have survived and made their way to America. Among the most noteworthy is Joshua Graham, one of the Legion's founders. Graham seeks vengeance against the Legion for its treatment of the Mormons and will carry the fire of the Holy Spirit against our enemies until he stands before his Lord for judgment. Um, Joshua Graham joins the Sierra Enclave and Kaiser's Legion gains base war support negative 5%. Killing our enemy is just a chore like any other. The operational security is compromised. So it's time has come, or we can cease resource extraction, which is what we'll do. Gives us another 100 or so days. Roughly 100 or so days. Support room. Let's get maintenance support. And let's see. Dugaway is going... So that's 90 days, and then we'll have an additional 60 days. So we'll have to be done with these wars over here ASAP. Get these airborne units out. Luminous ones, the great glowing one, Realm of Diana. I hope, uh, I hope we get to keep some of those. Atom bomb baby, as any nation prepare a mini nuke for war or for use. news from all across the wasteland and brings it to you live as it happens stay informed stay updated only on afn there's the army force or yeah the army forces network it's a pretty cool little audio clip the new california republic demands territory justify war goal what this is enclave main com That's so dumb. This is Enclave main com. I shouldn't be allowed to do this. In my honest opinion. Enclave here. We'll move you all up north. Enclave here. 
You all can go here. here. With my robots. My power armor. Go here. Enclave here. You gentlemen can go there. And she can go right here. Aiming towards Sac City. Enclave here. And power armor can aim towards the south. Well my who is this one? Enclave here. There's you guys. Aim towards Hopeville. Enclave here. This is Enclave Maincom. Then you guys aim towards the river. It looks like we'll be going to war a lot faster than I was hoping. What territory were they demanding? Vault City and everything like that? Nope. Scavengers Triumphs. Defenses are online. the plethora of troops I have up here can make it back. Well, they weren't ready for this war either. They're met with quiet. I don't think we got one more day. This will defend. As the United States or the US government was shrunk and downsized during the Great War, so too is the military. A power struggle developed among the chiefs of staff over resources, manpower in favor with the president. While it was unknown what exactly happened as most records went down with the rig by our return in twenty two forty two, all that really remains I remained was the army. The other branches existed, but were nothing more than pins on, or highlights on the uniforms. Regardless, it was the army that laid the return or led the return to the mainland. It was the army that defended Navarro, and it was the remnants of the army that arrived at the Sierra Depot in 2275. As our operation expanded, the army itself will need to relearn what will what was lost in the Great War, how to function and maneuver as large scale fighting forces and not a small scale assault squads. Everything from mass production of weapons to the running of logistics, of course, where it started is the question. Focus on training a new generation or focus on getting our we our soldiers some weapons. Let's do that. It gives us weapon training. And then I want to do the Californian Civil War since they've decided that it's now time to go to war with me. Can't go to a higher mobilization. Just simple tracks. Can I get, oh no, we need sophisticated, which we don't have. So I can get Wastelander tanks. I don't think I'm gonna waste my research time on that. No longer get industrial support. El Ejercito Mexicano declared war on La Tierra de los Zutstil. Where's that at? Oh, down here. Proximity munitions. Smoke grenades. There's soft attack, which we'll do instead of the defense. I was really hoping to knock out the white legs. Well, we still had 100 days. 
you guys are doing the power of the atom. Where's that at? Uses the ability to purchase mini nukes. There you go. one more days we can install police forces everywhere and they declared war on us all right a little, f a little further demoralize them and we'll disorient their air force we'll install what it says what is seven thousand seven hundred Oh, that hurts the local population. Well, that'd be okay. Let's see. You and you, and you, and you. You can't build anything here anyway. Is the burrows? Can delete one of these military factories. Construction-wise, build that. Send that to the top, and we'll do New Canaan as well. Area fifty-one. That's fine with me. Okay, the NCR is at war with us. Go, 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 go. And what else do I want? I want my Air Force in the sky. It'll be these monoplanes. Create an air wing. Put you all on air superiority. And then right here we'll add some of these fighters or the attackers. Create you into an air wing. Even realize that we're their biggest enemies. See our fools. That's the California Civil War. out to here. Uh, I don't think it's worth using mini nukes yet. Outstanding. You all are up here. Outstanding. If we do use them, what does that do? It gives us exhausted for a few days. Following 50% offense, 50% breakthrough can't retreat while attacking. Okay. Well, we'll wait on that. Uh, let's see. Let's do cold feet. Dugway proving grounds. We'll do that. Further restore. And let us do the old world uprising. 
The California Revolution, while technically speaking more of an invasion, the support we've built up with desperate and destitute in the new California Republic allows us to portray the event as a popular uprising. Our signal has been sent across the nation. It is time to take up arms against the corruption in the NCR regime. Down with the bear, up with the stars. They will welcome us as liberators. Awesome. This is Enclave Maincom. Now my militia forces will be under Mr. The Mayor. Enclave here. Put two there. Put you two there. Enclave here. And you four will fight down the Baja Peninsula to La Paz. Um Enclave here. You all can come this is Enclave up here. Main com. You all can go under I thought we got someone from I guess not. Did we not get a guy from uh, New Canaan? This is Enclave Main Cop. All right, our rebels here in the bone yard will just have to chill out. Enclave here. Yeah, like I'm pretty sure that we got a general from New Canaan. Enemy agent turned. So we got a double agent. She operated captured. Shady, Shady Sands fell. Didn't even give us the notification. Which technically we're not supposed to be at war yet anyway. So. That's probably why. Chinese menace. San Francisco was one of the greatest cities of pre-war America, a center of tech and a window to the world. But now it's occupied by the, the Xi, a Chinese beachhead on American soil. Some say we must drive them into the ocean. Others, mindful of Camp Turtle Dove and other pre-war mistakes, suggest we give the city autonomy and welcome the Xi into the reunited states. A Chinatown on the west coast, I think not. Gain more war support, more stability, and we get to annex the Xi state. Or America was and will be home to many people. We lose 5% war support, 5% stability. The Xi become a puppet. The Xi states will change to the vagrants, which is the Democratic Party. Um, public elections will not be held. They become owner and control of San Rafael. They will be known as San Francisco, become a federal state. I think I will actually do that. And the reason why I'm thinking about doing that is I, I do want some puppets. Because I can annex puppets towards the end of the war anyway, or to the end towards the end of the game anyway, and uh, it also saves me from having to fight the she. So America was also we have allowed super mutants, ghouls, raccoon people, and mole miners to all join the new United States. So why not the Chinese? The bear and the eagle. We've been hiding out here in Nevada. Until under the nose of the NCR for some time, skillfully playing the NCR corruption onto itself and learned would-be investigators on wild goose chases. Now, after all this time, all the deception, it's finally come to an end. Our units are exchanging laser fire with NCR bullets, and our Air Force clashes in the sky. Already, politicians in the NCR are screaming about the threat of the Enclave and that our destruction is a paramount to their survival. It is time we take up our old moniker and raise the blue Enclave flag high in the air. We are the Enclave, and let's not have the world forget it. Uh, AFN news from the front. The NCR army routed at Reading. The command post of the NCR Northern Army Command in Reading was captured by Enclave forces. 
sending the entire region into chaos as the new California Republic battalions were thrown into disarray at the loss of communications. The successful capture of the Northern Frontier's largest city was, has left many questioning New California Republic's leadership ability to defend against the Enclave. Aaron Kimball has assured everyone that Reign was a setback and that the Enclave Army will see Enclave will see the yeah, Enclave to victory against the monster of the Old World. Gain army experience plus 50. The Reign State is now a core of the Enclave. So the Shi are now under us, which is Elder Francis. So get the United Front. And then we can always, of course, come down. This is Enclave Maincom. This is Enclave Maincom. This is Enclave Maincom. So the she states now ours, and what we can always do is go into here, Puppet Ledger, San Fran. Need to become free. We start a land lease and send them. So we'll send you a thousand of these. Send you some tribal scout kits. It's not giving you anything, is it? Uh Power armor frames. No. Basic laser weaponry, maybe. So I need some of those. No. So I need. And I think if I build anything in their territory, it will lessen their She are finally attacking when the uncanny valley vanishes. Since our restoration of TV Town, the city has grown quite a lot, becoming a booming metropolis and a sort of melting pot of wasteland culture. Granted, with everything else weird and wacky going on in the wasteland, this is pretty tame. Most of the androids that were damaged or destroyed have been rebuilt, save the ones controlled by the director. Thanks to our reprogramming, they have sort of adjusted to American society. Well, they adjusted to the wasteland anyway. A few have even begun to venture out from TV Town into the wasteland among caravans. Even a few have signed up for the army. Although we're placing them strictly in auxiliary formations. Still kind of creepy. One moment. What was that? Oh yeah, my airborne troopers. We'll get you guys under... Wyatt Young, maybe? We'll send these guys... Yeah, 
those guys in the boneyard will probably be defeated. Someone just got annexed. Ah, the uh, Brotherhood. Yeah, the Montana chapter. NCR was not prepared at all. Ability, soft tech, hard tech. I'm pretty sure we can annex puppets. So I need to get Nevero back. Might have been wrong. Maybe we should have attacked San Francisco. The NCR uh, AFN News, the ACA, NCR Army is suffering heavy casualties. The mighty army of the bear against that what was expected by many analysts of Granite's government in New Reno has taken heavy casualties in the recent conflicts. Those same experts are left shocked at how the rugged NCR Army was the tried and true battle-tested equipment that overran the enclave defenses at Nevero. Uh, is suffering such staggering losses in recent battles. Experts have noted that the increased number of enclaved armed forces, as well as the fact that the NCR army has formed into several independent battalion sized elements meant to put down raiders, and that they haven't faced an actual force of their size in their entire history. Regardless, the war still rages on, and as Americans find us do battle with the seamlessly en endless or limitless number of Californians, staunch defenders, much of the new American army has been bolstered by the remnants of the survivors of the NCR army, affording better equipment and better pay than in the NCR army. Many of these have joined the American army and pushing the Legion back in Arizona, shouting the battle cry of freedom. We might win this war yet. Gain 5% stability. Shady Sands remnants. After the fall of Navarro, uh, Navarro, 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 many sur uh, survivors tried their luck at integrating the NCR into the NCR. While a lo large number were found out and arrested, many more successfully began their new lives in Shady Sands. These people and their descendants have now petitioned us to rejoin the, the Enclave. Plus 200 manpower. All right, well, with that, I'm going to end the episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.